A couple of videos ago, you heard me uh, talk about guitars that you can purchase if you're on a budget from like $300 on down, you know, the beginner category of bass guitars. And so it is very possible that some of you may be fortunate enough to have a little bit more money to spend on your very first bass guitar. And so we're going to talk about the intermediate category of basses. This group is going to be from $300 on up to $500. And we're going to talk about them right now. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to Bass Chops for Beginners and I'm Jose Cruz. Thank you so much for taking time again to be with me here uh, to talk about things that uh, will help you uh, in your journey in becoming a bass player. And so if this is your first time here uh, <laughs> wandering onto this channel and you want to know, my gosh, what this, is this guy talking about? Well. I want you to go to this video, okay? This video is the beginning of everything. It tells you uh, where to start. That's the whole purpose of this channel. It's for those of you out there that are thinking about becoming a bass player and you just don't know where to start, okay? And so that video is a perfect beginning um, instruction on where to begin, okay, in your journey. And so there you have it. I wanna take this opportunity to thank all of the new subscribers. I'm very excited. Uh, to have all of you on board. Thank you so much for uh, clicking on the subscriber uh, button and the notification bell. And by the way, if you really like what you see in these videos and you're here for the first time, go ahead and subscribe right here and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way when I upload a brand new video, you are going to be notified and that way you can come back here and get the latest information on the topic, okay? Also, if you uh, wanna follow me, me on Instagram there is the address as well and uh, so it's really cool another thing too if you want to uh, join the Facebook uh, fan page for this channel uh, there is the address too uh, there you can actually upload some pictures perhaps and uh, leave comments and questions as well if you choose not to do that here um, for everyone else to read and so I think it's really cool um, a little bit of housekeeping I was like dead dead stupid wrong about something that I said in a previous video where I said that uh, YouTube was doing away with comments in their videos. No, <laughs> don't listen to me. That was, I was completely wrong. What they got rid of is a feature that I didn't even know existed. It was, I guess, instant messaging or personal messaging between content creators on the platform. They just did away with it. Apparently no one else knew about it. And so they just got rid of it. And I misinterpreted that notification from YouTube that they were doing that and the information I gave you was wrong about that. So please feel free to leave comments down below and your questions. I'd be more than happy to address them. Another thing too, uh, all the things that I'm gonna be talking about today are the bass guitars that you can go out and find in the intermediate price category. And there's a bunch of them out there. I'm just gonna slice them up over the course of several videos and all the manufacturers that I talk about, they're going to be contained in the description of every video, okay? So you can go to that website and do some research on um, at your own pace because it's gonna give you more detailed uh, info and specs on the guitars that you're interested in that I, uh, I'm not gonna bore you with here. It's just, um, uh, I'm just gonna show you the things that I like and give you the name and we're just gonna go from there. Cool and have fun doing it. So this video is about intermediate bases in the $300 to $500 range. And so um, I'm not gonna talk about best guitar to worst guitar, cheapest guitar to most expensive, no. The list that I have here is actually just alphabetical, which is easier for me to follow uh, and talk to you about. And so let's start. The first one in this category is a manufacturer called Daisy Rock. And that is their bass guitar right there. I believe it comes in two colors, but I just wanted to uh, do a quick departure on something that uh, it just needs to be addressed. Uh, they're, they're marketing these instruments for female musicians, which I think is kind of like, I, you know, I, I'm not buying it because ever since electric guitars and basses came onto the scene, they were never designated, they were never gender specific, okay? Uh, if you were a man or a woman and you saw bass guitar or regular guitar, 
electric and you picked it up and started playing it and you liked it, that was the end of the story. History has shown us that both genders play these instruments interchangeably without any problems whatsoever. I think the only limitation for some people, if they are uh, short in stature, uh, maybe they have a, a, a little bit difficult time reaching the full scale bass guitars because they're, they're just long, you know, you can, you know, 34 inches scale there. And so, um, but really Eve, I've seen short people, short women, play full-scale basses with no problems whatsoever. So I'm not really on board with what Daisy Rock is trying to push onto uh, the consumer out there. Um, maybe there's a dad or a mom out there that says, hey, look, there's a, there's a guitar for my daughter. And they stumble onto one of those. Don't buy it because it's made for a, a, a young lady. Buy it because it's a well-made instrument. Um, I don't look at that guitar and go, oh, yeah, that's a girl's guitar. It's, it's, it's just, I, <laughs> I know it may sound stupid, but I just think it's a ridiculous marketing thing because it's never been an issue before. I'm not sure why it's an issue now. Anyway, that's Daisy Rock. You can go to their website and check out uh, the, uh, the specs on that. They don't talk about what the neck radius is on that, and I'm kind of troubled by that. If they're saying it's a thin neck, well, then give us the specs on it. Don't tell us it's a thin neck when I look at it and I know that it's not. Okay? <laughs> Just be upfront about what you're trying to do, Daisy Rock. The next one in the list is Dan Electro. Dan Electro, um, it's been around for a while, and I remember seeing them for the first time in uh, MTV videos uh, when MTV used to play music videos. You guys remember that? That was like ages ago and they got away from that bad choice mtv bad 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 so anyway dan electro is a short scale bass it's really cool um it's got an interesting shape to it and so um i recommend that if you're into short scale basses i am for no other reason is that i think that they're cool looking and most people that make uh, a full line of electric basses and guitars uh, on their bass line, they make a short scale version. Uh, you saw in a previous video that I have um, an Epiphone SG uh, short scale bass, which I absolutely love. And so they're out there. Dan Electro is certainly a, a choice for you to look at if you want uh, short scale bass with an unusual body on it. Okay, cool. We're going to talk about Dean. Dean is, uh, you've heard this before, Dean is the uh, manufacturer that is here in the city that I live in. And so um, they have a couple of really cool uh, shapes uh, in the intermediate category. And so we're going to talk about a couple of them here now. The first one on this list um, is a Dean Edge 5, and that's the Flame Top Electric Bass Translucent Black Satin. And so that's really cool. I picked it because I think it looks really cool, and I played this uh, bass at the store when, when I saw it for the first time. Uh, I think that the one that we have here uh, listed is a five string version. Um, not really recommending five string bass guitars for the beginner bass. There's plenty of time for that to happen down the road. However, if you pick up a five string bass and you really love it, it feels good to you, uh, it's comfortable, then get it, okay? That's one of them that you can choose from. The other one from Dean is the Paramount Rosewood Fingerboard Bass with Tobacco Sunburst. And these guitars, you may have seen similar ones in the previous price category. These, just like I said earlier, they're just made a little bit better with a little bit better components um, that you'll probably like, okay? They're worth it. And then we're gonna talk about Epiphone. Epiphone is dear to my heart because I own one of them and I really love it. And that's my short scale uh, SG bass. And so um, <laughs> they actually make a long scale version of that bass and it's called the EB3 in ebony. And that's what it looks like. Looks just like my short scale, but with a long neck on a 34 inch scale. Whereas the short guy uh, that's hanging on the wall that I keep looking at when I talk about it, 
is uh, just 30 inches, okay? Um, and so there you go, Epiphone. Another one that Epiphone makes is the Goth Thunderbird uh, five bass in satin black. What I love about that one is that it totally reminds me of Nikki Six of Motley Crue, um, you know, I like that look. I can't really afford the actual Gibson Thunderbird. So Epiphone makes a really, really good, good facsimile of it. I shouldn't really use that word. I shouldn't use the word facsimile. I just, I think it's really good. It, it plays to me just as nicely as the real Thunderbird. It's not as heavy, which is really good. Um, I like it. I love that look, you know, just that satin, you know doesn't it's, it's not really shiny it's there it's cool it's goth cool i like it i like it and then the next one that i have here is the epiphone viola bass okay and so um <laughs> this one is just gonna be uh just an upgraded version of what you've seen in the past in the other price categories just made better okay it's just made better what i highly recommend that you do is go to the website and do some more research like I said earlier but if you can go to a music store and find one of these gems hanging on the wall grab it plug it in and play it okay because that's where you're gonna know if this thing is a good fit for you okay and so and <laughs> if you're like a lot of people where you get yourself a beginning bass guitar and then you go you know this is great um, I don't want to get rid of it but I'd certainly want to upgrade to something a little bit different this price category is is a perfect and logical next step if you want to add another instrument to the collection and just once again, thank you for all the new subscribers. And in the next video, we're going to go into the next category. I don't want to make these too long. We're going to cover the next batch of guitars that I think you'll find as interesting as these right here. Okay, in the meantime, do something really cool. Be creative, all right? And remember, tune it or die.